Amanda? Um, I don't know if that answered it clearly, but I, I don't think there's any remedy in what, what they're, they're doing with their checks. Um, question. Would a motion to compel help to bring into light the documents concerning the CQV Trust, this concerning non-parties holding the Trust? There is a uh, fellow by the name of Patrick Devine that's been talking about uh, the Commissari Fides, the Commissari Trust, as a different description of CQV. They use a range of different ways to describe the same thing. And I don't want to get into a, a shooting contest of whether you call them commissaries, uh, whether you call them CQVs, whether you call them Citus uh, Trust, whatever you want to call them, they exist, they're used, and they have different labels. Will they admit they exist? No. A court does not even want to admit that they are under trust law, does not even want to admit that the case formed against you by the writ of summons is a constructive trust. So when you actually send them, for example, the executor letter, which is based on your understanding that they are in fact creating a constructive trust, they'll run for the hills because they don't even want to admit that. So can we get them to admit the existence of the trusts formed from birth? We can try. Will they do it? No, absolutely not. They will not, and I, I don't think it's worth um, pursuing it. I mean, enough's enough, yeah? Why we change the whole ecclesiastical process isn't that anything in the first process was wrong. Nothing was wrong. There was no fault in it. We only changed it because at a state level and at a local level, there is no remedy. None. Zero. So we've moved to a national level now with the process. Is there any remedy in the national process? I don't think there is. I don't see any remedy in the national process either. But... In the last three months of this year, if there's no remedy, we'll go to the final level. Uh, question. When you said the button is pushed, that will start the new, uh, that will start the new credit system. Uh, how to turn the key is this startup? Um, the first, there are a number of steps before you turn on a, a, a credit system that is going to sustain and not be corrupted. You've got to have... It's all, it's all ideas. I mean, when people say money is fiction, of course money is fiction. It's an idea. But it's an idea based on a series of complex ideas as well. It's a, it's a, it's a model. So the development of this in, incorporates the philosophy around the covenant, the charters of the various unions, the, cha the charters of the reserve banks, the physical databases of currency, the management of those, the codes of administration, the software interfaces in terms of connecting on and using, the pricing models of how to determine the pricing of relationships and how to administer that. Well, we've got probably five eighths of it in place. And like an iceberg, unfortunately, you've got to have all that in place before the capstone, which is to turn it on and say, da-da, here you go. Now... <clears throat> Do people normally do this? No, they don't. I mean, there are eBay didn't do this. It just turned on a site and said, here you go, buy and sell goods. And it's become a multi-billion dollar Leviathan. Well, it, it, I know it sounds crazy, but even something that's worth multi-billions doesn't mean that it, it, it sees the end of the system. The system is quite happy for something to be multi-billions. The system's trillions, multiple trillions. We have to systematically come up with a model that, that can accommodate today, tomorrow, growth, 50 years, 100 years, the end of the system. So that's what's taken the time. And, and I know it's frustrating, but that's why it's taken so long. Um, next Thanks, question. Chad. Frank, did someone? you want to uh, take a caller? Sorry. I'd love to take a caller. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's get South Kansas on the air. Uh, uh, South Kansas, uh, you're on the air with Franco Collins. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. This is Tom from Kansas. 
Hi, Tom. And I've got I've got a question on the on the mortgage laws. Um, I'm on in the same home for over 24 years now, and uh, on the uh, second or third mortgage, um, is there any processes where I can go in there and legally question the validity of the mortgage, uh, request a wedding signature contract with the QCIP number on it, and prove that it was the... Uh, that it, there, there has never been any money loaned? Excellent point. At the moment, there are two structures, and, and on the how to save your home structure, because we've been going down on the executive letter, because we're doing these other things, we haven't been able to be able to uh, finish the notes on that area of how to save your home other than the model of declaring the land closed, which is an ecclesiastical model. What you're raising is the kind of remedy that in theory should be in, in place in their system, which is they say that their, their laws do not permit fraud. Well, as, as you and I know, and as many people on this call know, the courts are committing fraud on fraud. The, my own concern about the raising of those particular issues, such as there was no actual loan, uh, the contracts have been changed without consent to the original agreement, you know, the multiple, multiple things that they do is that in the system they are not providing or allowing that to see the light of day. They're shutting it down. So there's a second line of argument that we've put up as a potential framework, which is to argue the role of being the tenant and then being the delinquent landlord. Now, that requires a lot more work and the short answer then to you is we don't have anything ready that I'm comfortable with that effectively uh, can use those arguments and stop them dead in their tracks because they're aware of them. Some people have had success, but I have to say to you, the majority of people with this knowledge going to court are never even given the opportunity to raise it. It's just it's just wham, bam, see you later. So I, I hope to have something working with many of you, something of, of sense on this, but it's probably going to be another few weeks before I can say to you, yep, go have a look here, see what we're considering how to deal with that knowledge. Yeah? Okay. Because I've been disabled, partially disabled from the medical dental system and I feel, you know, They've done nothing but injustice, uh, denied my disability rights, uh, the so-called Disability Rights uh, Association has denied uh, any uh, offer to help me to get this resolved, and I feel the least they should do is, you know, discharge the rest of my mortgage. There's only three or four years left on it anyway, and the house has already been paid for. I know it's been paid for for many times over, so... I'm trying to figure a way to yeah. get it resolved. Where I can there is no justice in there. Yeah, there is no justice in this system. And, and sadly, as we get closer to breaking point of their system, it's going to get worse. So what we're trying to balance is we're trying to build a model that replaces what, what they are and at the same time try and get some relief for you and for, for everyone else. It, it's getting harder, I have to say. It's getting harder. But, but we will have more on, on land in the coming weeks. So thank you for your questions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thanks. Uh, next, uh, we can take a caller of uh, Southeast Ohio. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, how, you how are you doing? My name is Jim. Uh, this Hi. is the first time I've come to this call. I listened to a couple of recorded calls, and uh, I was curious. Since I'm new, I've, there's a lot in that website. Um, but with uh, you, you speak of basically getting a new identity or something like that through my birth certificate. So, will how will that work when it comes to like getting a driver's license to drive down the road in my car? 
excellent question and an excellent question to be asked as a first up coming to this how does it how does it sit and, and, and what are we talking about the short answer is is this if you've woken up to the games that the current system play in denying you the rights that they say you have by the constitution yes right the question then is what remedy do you have dealing with such criminal action the people then have a range of opinions on how to proceed what we say is that the way the system has argued that what they have done in denying rights as being lawful is a series of legal constructs, legal fictions over many centuries where they have argued that effectively through our ignorance, through our poor behaviour, through precedence and through lack of objection, they become our nanny. They become our attorney and we remain the forever Peter Pan child. The background to that is listed on one-heaven.org and there is a deep logic to what we say in terms of identification because the tools we use such as the live born record and the tools such as the ecclesiastical deeds are based entirely on the foundations of law which includes their foundations of law. So when What's happening is that when they deny these particular tools, they are denying their own foundations. So what we've done, okay, we've learned we're dealing with criminals. Yes, we've been dealing with criminals for decades. People have tried to get out of the system. You get five minutes of daylight and, and then, you know, a lifetime of gloom and nothing works. Yeah? Right. Okay. There is a quote in the Bible and I won't quote it precisely because I can't remember the words precisely, but you, you or someone else might be, might be able to help me, that we are told that a sign of the end of the age of the parasite, the end of the age of evil men, is that they will be hung by their own iniquity. Yes? Yeah, I, re- I kind of understand what you're saying there. Even though you don't quote it, I understand what you mean. Right. Well, that's what we're using now. So please read it, but that's the logic behind it, that it's their own iniquity, their own stupidity, because they're breaking the fundamental rules of their own system that will bring their system down. We won't. Look, that's why, you know, remedy is potluck in the system. If you're lucky on the day, great, because the system is designed to be corrupt from tip to toe, but by using tools based on their own foundation and they break the rules on those which they're doing, their own iniquity will bring them to an end. All right? Okay. Can I ask you one Good more idea. question? Can I ask yeah. you one more question? Please. I'm, I'm in the process. I just found this, this site, but I was in the process of setting up some LLCs and corporation Souls, which is an ecclesiastical trust and foundations for yep. asset protection. Will I be able to still keep those in place? Sure. sure. But, but remember, remember that you know, in the system, simple trust and, and express trust and, and knowledge of terms of, of how to establish trust to protect your assets will provide a level of support the system is clear that if they want to come after you, they'll come after you and they don't care anymore. We're past the point of these people actually caring what people think of them obeying the law. They're just now in a a state of absolute anarchy. So go ahead by all means and you might find that it gives a, a period of respite, but you are looking at the last days of the Roman Empire again. Yeah? Okay, I understand what you're saying then. So, so 